Some weird stuff going on over at Marvel. Yesterday, they did an eight-hour promotion for the Marvels, and it was literally, and I'm not kidding, you can see it right here, just a cat adoption stream. Nobody even talked in it. It was just cats playing, and you could adopt the cats, which I think is great. I mean, I love that animals could get adopted here, but... It's a really strange way to promote a movie. I don't know. Some people were calling it genius. Uh, I call it kind of strange, <laughs> but whatever. I don't even know what's going on over at Marvel anymore. I don't even think the executives know what's going on anymore. This is what I really want to talk about. And by the way, they dropped the Echo trailer, too. Uh, that's going to be interesting. Can't wait for that show to drop as well. That's supposed to be so bad that they just want to get it done and over with. They're going to drop the entire series at once. So that should be fun. I think if it's that bad, they should just not put that show out. The show being put out is going to be bad because it's just another bad slop of shit from, from Marvel. I think it does more damage coming out if it's that bad than good. But whatever. Marvel will keep doing what they want to do, see if it works. But let's go back to the Blade rumor. And this was funny because this came out after all of that South Park shenanigans. So it's, it's, it's funny because this is in the aftermath of that South Park roast that people are still talking about. Kathleen Kennedy is still trending <laughs> because of that show. But apparently... Blade was so bad, and because the executive that's kind of putting Blade together didn't inform Kevin Feige how bad things were. In fact, this rumor claims that the guy tried to, or girl, uh, I'm not really sure who the executive is, but uh, a fired executive makes me think of uh, uh, Victoria Alonzo. I don't know. But they, they claim in here you can figure out who it is. I don't want to say anybody because I'm not 100 percent sure. So let's just go with let's just go with what this article says. But apparently, as you know, if you watched yesterday's video, you'll know that Blade apparently uh, was regulated to the fourth lead in the movie. Three women are in front of him, and the movie is about life lessons. They teach the women teach you life lessons during the movie. Now. Uh, nobody wants to see that. Why the hell am I watching a Blade movie that doesn't star Blade front and center? A really good example of this is Multiverse of Madness, the Doctor Strange movie. Uh, he was not front and center in that movie. In fact, he didn't even win the day. Wanda beat herself at the end. I would call that Multiverse of Madness movie more of an America Chavez and Wanda movie than a Doctor Strange movie. Uh, because he really didn't get very, very many wins in that movie. Uh, at the end, he kind of fights her with the zombie thing, and then America Chavez kind of steps up, and then Wanda decides to defeat herself. Uh, that's probably the formula that they were going to follow with this Blade movie. What a disaster this would be. And it looks like Feige figured that out and fired the guy. In fact, it's quoted in this article that... Uh, this is one of the few times that anyone actually ever heard Kevin Feige yell at someone. Now, that's interesting. Uh, that's apparently how pissed off he was about this. This shit, this movie has been in development hell for years. Uh, personally, I don't even think they should do a Blade movie. And that's not because the character isn't cool. In fact, Blade 1 and 2 are some of my favorite comic book movies of all time. And that's the problem <laughs> with this Blade movie. You could get the best talent in the world and the best script, uh, and it's still going to be compared to a superior movie that was released as a rated R movie, uh, as you should do for a movie like this. Because this is going to be a vampire movie with no blood. The only time I've seen that done successfully 
successfully is in the 90s Spider-Man cartoon, and that's because they changed everything to plasma. If you've seen that, remember Morbius hungers for plasma? <laughs> and he had, like, suction cup hands. Are they going to give the vampires suction cup hands in this one? Like, I just don't see how you do a really good PG-13 badass action movie with Blade because we've seen a rated R one and we know what a rated R blade looks like, but maybe they'll surprise us and make this R rated. That's the only way you go with this in my opinion, but whatever. Uh, So here is the rumor. Apparently, as I said, uh, the fired, the fired executive uh, was yelled at by Kevin Feige. Uh, Speaking to the topic of Blade during the November 1st episode of his and film critic John Rocha's The Hot Mike Live Show, Jeff Snyder informed his co-host that while he was unsure if Siegel's description of the film's current state was 100% accurate, and that's talking about the Variety article, he was aware that the executive who was working on Blade basically tried to obscure what was going on in this draft from the film's writer. He tried to intentionally hide the problems. You know why they do that, right? Well, I'm saying he. I, I want to keep keep it in there. I don't know if this is a he or a she for the executive. Um, But that's because to these people, the message is more important than the movie actually doing good. So that got the, the person fired. That got the person fired. Another source said it was parting of ways. I push back against that because I'm like, who leaves Marvel, right? It's the dream job for most geek executives. I don't think a lot of people are leaving on their own accord. He further detailed how my source said that, you know, Marvel didn't comment on anything like this, but they said it's one of the few times that anyone has actually ever heard Kevin Feige yell at someone. That was the quote. We could change that to raise voice, but it was one of the few times that this individual had heard Kevin ever raise his voice. So the executive on Blade, who I'm not going to name, you can maybe figure out who it is, is no longer with Marvel, and that is confirmed. And then they go over the script, talking about how, uh, and a lot of people were talking about that revelation that it's a movie about life lessons and Blade is the fourth lead. And they also confirmed that there's a lot of strong women in the script, right? Like Blade's daughter. I saw some people in the comments say they had no idea had a daughter. Uh, she was introduced in a new comic day issue. I really don't know a lot about her. I think her name's Blood Rain or something. I, I don't know a lot about his daughter. I don't even know where she came from. I just know she exists. <laughs> I don't read a lot of modern Marvel comics anymore because most of them are shit. But she does exist, and she's going to be in this movie, from what I understand. They're just going to introduce her right away. And that told me immediately that she was going to be at the star of the movie and will likely uh, be the face of the Blade franchise going forward because that's how the MCU rolls. Uh, But, yeah, I mean, just because... So they put fourth lead. He's probably in the movie, but the women probably take up and do most of the action most of the winning, and so on and so on. A really good example, like I said, Multiverse of Madness. It'll probably be something like that because you have two female leads in that one, and then Doctor Strange kind of starts off as the lead and then slowly gets put back into a more of a support role. That's what's going to probably happen with this Blade movie, unless they change it, which would be smart. Uh, That would be a smart idea to do, to be honest. But that is the gist of what's going on with this. So (laughs) people are getting fired over this shit. Rightly so. Uh, you do shit like this. You try to hide this and get that far along. Imagine if they had gotten far along and actually shot this movie. And it ended up like Daredevil. Whatever's going on with Daredevil. Oh, my God. That's a whole other thing. I'm pretty sure I've made a video on that, though. But Maybe Marvel's trying to change things around. Personally, I think, uh, I think we're winning. I think Marvel's going to try to do a 180. Whether or not they can fix this, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if the audience is still there. Will they come back? You know, that's the real question. Even if they do turn this around, are you going to come back? I mean, let me know in the comments. Are you done? Or would you give them a second chance if they write the ship? Anyway, 
Let me know what you guys think about all this. I'd like to hear from you. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Check out my Rumble and Locals, and I will see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my Locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.